Hey guys, as you guys can tell by the title, we're going to be doing a Bob Ross tutorial. This painting is actually going to be for my dad since his birthday is coming up in four days. Um, so we're just going to get started. I already have the tutorial right here. So we're going to get right into the video. Okay, so I kind of have a crazy setup going on. So let me just quickly take off this. And now I'm going to start the video. Little winter scene. Just, I'm gonna have a sun in this painting. So. I'm trying to use my thickest paints because if I don't, then it's just gonna be a liquidy mess and it's not gonna be able to blend. And okay, so we're just gonna go in with this color. I'll have the sun right about there. Let me start off this. One. Jeez, I already messed up and I just started the video. Um. Oh, I forgot my liquid white. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe some of this off because I think there was a little too much paint on it. And then also this brush. I just have too much paint on the brush. There's like a fat amount of paint on the brush, so. You beat the devil out of it. Just put the liquid white around this area. What's the next thing to do, Bob? Take okay, here and get a little touch of a lizard crimson. Just like so. And this color I actually Let's do have. In here. And we'll work this in using a little, little crisscross strokes, a little X's. And... Working with what I got, I don't got a lot. Crimson. Oh, that was too much crimson. So now he's kind of just bringing it around. How does he do the crisscross with his arms? Is, doesn't he get tired? Jeez. Okay, so he's kind of like just bringing that over here. When I was younger, I did one of these paintings with Bob Ross. Super young. And it turned out really bad and I absolutely hated it. Okay, that made it a little bit better blending it in oh that looks cool now okay i'm happy with that i'm happy with the sun now oh my gosh this is just the beginning like go right into the crimson tiniest little bit tiniest little bit and then i'm going to add just a small amount of the dark sienna to the crimson make a very warm brown what does his look like? Yeah, very lightly. Right around here. Still making a little crisscross strokes. Oh wait. Oh, okay. Titanium white. Oh, got it. Kind of doing a little circle. Okay, and oh my gosh. Oh, don't we? His looks smoky and nice and like a sky. Other than mine looks like oh, just looks so like bad! one way to put it it's bad let's go on the side of this cyana thing and make the pink that i had on the outer so i can blend this in we get rid of some of the axis okay now we're gonna blend this in with this one i'm just trying to work on the blending because the blending is where it kind of makes it or breaks it oh geez it just made it worse oh my gosh because i like using this as a blending tool scrape my mistakes away Stroke it like he does. I think it has a little bit more of a brown tone, so I'm gonna add some more brown to this. Burnt umber. And then some more black. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? No. Okay, um, maybe so much show this. Move the black up here. And just kind of move it away. Oh, great. Hey, actually. This is not half bad. Okay, I'm gonna kind of go with this. Oh, it's like a brown fart color. Great. Oh, and just so you guys know, my dad picked out this painting. I gave him like a bunch of bunch of paintings to choose from, and um, he picked this one. So I kind of like doing what he does. He kind of just brushes it over like this, and then everything turns out great. So okay, I think it's blended enough. To where it looks pretty decent right now he actually is doing something um 
I'm gonna do something here and I don't know what it is yet. And add some of this. Yes, beautiful. And we're doing the crisscrosses. We're gonna end up just going over straight like this, but crisscrosses for now. So he kind of makes it lighter down here. So a little bit of a lighter one right here and then more dark upwards in the corner. Now we're gonna go up. We need to get all the water out of this because this is when he's doing it, it's a very dry painting and I don't have the same paint as him so it's completely different. Yes, this looks really off right now but I will blend it. I'm actually gonna blend that right now because I don't like staring at its ugly edges. This is what I have now. Um, I'm just gonna move on to the next step of the video. Okay, already I have to blend again. Is it because of the liquid white? I don't have the right hit liquid white. Like, why is it just not working for me? I'm not a professional artist, as you can tell. Um, I do a lot of art, which I'll show you all the art that I did. But this is just not it at all. How do I, how am I supposed to blend that? <gasps> Wait a minute. That looks the best as I can do from now. A nice little touch of phalo blue. Phalo blue. This was it. Okay, this was the phalo blue. I didn't want to put it down because I didn't know if I would get this this far. Oh my gosh. You guys hear that? No. Wait, no. Great, it dried up. Phalo blue is no more. It dried up in the container and now they're, it's like the, literally the only color that I had in his thing and I don't have it anymore. Since phalo blue is not here, which is actually a really, really, really nice color. Let's try to take the closest thing to phalo blue. It's kind of almost like a navy blue color. So I think I'm gonna have to take this um, phalo blue and see how to make it. That's just made a really, really dark blue that kind of looks more like a green. Okay, so the first thing we did was get brown and we're gonna put this white Kind of all over. Take some brown and brush it over here. So I kind of brushed it over here and over here. So this is kind of already blended or I guess like here. So we're gonna take some of that and we are going to rub that in. I'm gonna actually take some water and just kind of revive the paint right there. We're gonna take some white. Okay, very nice. And then it's the best I can do. That's how it's going to be, whatever. Let me continue working down here. So I'm gonna have to take this kind of off the canvas to do this bottom portion really quick. Okay. I'm really happy with the phalo blue that I've created. Um, it was just very nicely done. A little round of applause to me. This looks exactly like phalo blue. I just cannot believe that I did that. I'm beating the devil out of this painting, to be honest. Let's continue with the thing. Take your knife and just go whoop, take it right off. The value or the color remains in the canvas. Now you can come along here. You see, you can blend that. I used to have one, but don't know where it is. We're going to use this and we're just going to be like, whoop. Nope. I do what he says and it just makes it worse. I just, I don't get it. Now we're gonna take some of this. Oh, 
gives it a little bit of texture to it. Hopefully. Now we're gonna take some of this red, the crimson red, and also do the same thing with the crimson section. Let's move on from that. Okay, I'm gonna use the brown brush. Go into Van Dyke Brown, a little dark sienna. We're just gonna mix them on the brush, just tap it. See, just tap. There we go, let's go right up here. Right, I'm really like, kind of zoning out because I'm just looking at mine and just thinking, it's probably the worst thing that I've ever done with all my paintings. Maybe there's a happy little tree that lives right here. Now we'll start at the base of this tree and work up for it darker down toward the bottom. So we're going to add some liquid white at this point. That little point is going to be the liquid white. And we're just going to start here. And he said just dab it. So that's what we're doing. As you can see, I'm dabbing it. And it looks kind of sad. Let's take some paint off of that because I think it's a little too much paint. And let's continue dabbing. And we're moving upwards. He just does that so elegantly. Like, I, I can't even with this right now. I'm gonna have to work really quickly on this. So what we're gonna do is have some white right here so it's easier for it to blend. And this either can go good, like in a good way, it goes perfectly smooth, or this can just go south and just go horribly and um, probably to the point of never churn. And so that's what I'm gonna do, um, pull this outwards. And it already turned to the never return point. Okay, let's take some of that phthalo blue and it dried up. <coughs> Jesus. Um, something I love art. Now that I'm here, I kind of go in with this white. Um, so we're just going to do that. Another bad idea is to go in with some liquid white. Because what I did before is I did went in with liquid white and I blended it out. It's looking pretty decent. We're getting back to the decent C of this. Look at that. Very sharp. All right. We don't have paint there. <laughs> In here, but just the indication of a few little trunks, little stems, whatever. So we're going to make this super sharp and pointy. We're just going to go down the line and just indicate that's not dark enough. Okay, I think we're going to have to make a darker brown. You guys tell I'm trying to be as calm as Bob Ross. not so shortable like that so that looks a little better and then I'm gonna take the old round brush and dip it right into a little touch of the liquid white just a little touch I'm gonna add the least least little touch of the bright red here the tiniest little bit bright red tap that brush Let's go up here. Now that. Tiny red, and we're gonna tap it Try on the trees. Use, just use just the top corner of the brush and begin tapping. He's so lucky he has a big brush. <laughs> I don't have a big brush. The little tree urchin stays. Yeah, I bet you wonder what a tree urchin is. That's what I call a little squirrel. Okay, he's going a little too fast, so I'm just going to pause it right there and then catch up. We're, now we're like taking white and just smooth, like smushing it everywhere. Like we're just white and smush. That's basically what we're doing. Just call it the white smushiness. Okay, now we're just going to take a bunch of white. And I'm also going to take the phalo blue on a different brush. We are going to go over like this. 
The reason I'm doing this is I think it's going to be just way easier to blend, Eddie, and we're going to push this outwards. So now we got our little mess. We have our mess now, and we got to clean up the mess. By cleaning up, I mean fix it. You could obviously see that I'm trying. I really am trying. And this is for my dad's birthday. I don't know how many times I've said that in this video, but it is for my dad's birthday. And I kind of want to make this like perfect. Um, and it's nowhere near perfect right now, which I'm very mad about because it's for his birthday. And this is, he picked out his favorite one and I'm kind of botching his favorite one. If only I did this correctly. And you can go into a tiny little bit of that. Blue and add shadows. And they're easy. Oh, super easy. He says they're easy. I just want to scrape this whole painting right now. <sighs> Some of the Van Dyke brown. Cut across and get a little roll of paint on the knife. Oh no. There you see, right out on the edge is most important. It's right out on the edge of the knife. Let's go up here. Okay. Maybe the little house lives. It does now, right there. Okay, um, I know what he's doing right now, and I'm very scared. He's making this little tiny thing like that, and it's pulling down, and just pulling down. And this is looking absolutely like, like poo. <laughs> oh my gosh. The minute I touch the canvas, it just... Okay, I need to fix this ground. This ground is getting me very mad. So I'm going to quickly fix this to get my mind off of that. Can we talk about how quick I dropped that brush? That's not doing anything. I think that technique was supposed to be cool, but it's not looking it. Whoa, wait. Wait, I think we might have gone somewhere. Wipe off the entire canvas and start over. Just kidding, I won't do that to myself. I'm not going to do this again. That made it a little better. A little bit better. Now, let's just, oh. Nope. Gonna blend that in with what you ask? I don't know. Front on the other side. So you just sort of in your mind think think what a house looks like. Right. Wait, why is my making this? I know we're making this 3D. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go over this. went to scratch as you can see we do not have the little tiny lodge that we had before uh i just kind of like painted over that and kind of just got rid of it completely um what i'm gonna do is paint it over here more towards this so i can make it um 3d ish so let me just quickly do that <laughs> So that's my outline sketch little house. It's not the best house in the world, obviously. Um, I'm gonna make it a little, a little more bigger like that. Just bringing this up and bringing it down and kind of spinning it around. I'm trying to give it 3D dimension because I did learn this in an art class. See, we can see that the light's coming from here. So this side's gonna be brighter. This one over here, this one's gonna be almost dark. Let's give him a roof. <laughs> so we're giving him a white roof. Um, so I'm gonna wait until this kind of like paint dries around and then we're gonna give him a white roof. But for now we're gonna work on, since the light is kind of shining over here, I'm gonna give him a lighter side over here. So we're gonna take some yellow. We're also gonna give him some orange. 
Um, I don't want to really blend it inside the house because I'm trying to make this look like the sun is shining on this house on a really, really cold day. So we're just going to take some yellow and slap that on. So it makes it look like it's shining on this house. I need to add some shadow to the ground because it kind of just looks like I just painted a house on there. But then we also want to have a good line because we don't want just look gliding together. So we're going to have to add a little bit of a white line. To we're going to add a good amount of white on the palette. Let's look to the next part of the video. I did not know we had to do that, so we're going to add some snow on the other side. He makes this, this part kind of lower, but I kind of like my house very symmetrical, so we made it made it a little bit. Maybe if I did that, would this work if I did that? Kind of a slanted look to it. Oh no, oh no. We're going to do the other side. Nice little white coat. There you go. That looks nice. There you got a little door. Take a little white. Go around the edges. There, make a rascal stand out. We'll take the small knife. Okay, so we're making a door for this little guy. And we have this look right now. Okay, so I kind of made like a pludgy, like as you could see, it's a little wider than normal because you know, I kind of wanted to give it that look. I'm also gonna like make little streaks in it. So now we have this all done. We're gonna move on to the next step of the thing. Hopefully we can move on from the cabin, I think. Okay, so apparently we're adding a blue and white window. Give him a window. I want a little bit of a darker window there. There we go. Made a little window, guys. Everybody clap. Thank you very much. Just put a little chimney. Take a little tiniest little touch of the bright red. Excuse my arm there. Maybe he don't have his fireplace lit. A little snow laying up here on his chimney. There we go. That easy. So now we're making the chimney. This thing never ends. This little tiny house never ends. Okay. So now we're gonna just make this straight up thing right here. And we're just gonna go, whoa. Right there. There you go. Um, there. Okay. Now he said take some red and just swoop the side. Some red. Then he also said take some white and put it a little bit because maybe he's not using his chimney so there's a little bit of snow on the top of this chimney you know the snow of the chimney and the top of the roof and the roof of the top of the roof blah, 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 blah. now we're going to take back that brush and fix the mistake that i literally just made five seconds ago i don't know if you saw that you probably did i'll, I'll zoom into it yeah. look black maybe that's what remains of an old fence and it went right off here, this is just straight liquid black, and there's a few old rails left on it. For me to do this part, I need to fix what I have created. Um, so since we don't have any good brown left, which is basically, I guess I'm just going to take some cyana and go in with that. Um, now he said to make fences with liquid black. I don't have liquid black, but I do just have regular black, so I'm just going to use that. Little fences. Little fences. So that means we need, that means we need a little brush. I kind of want to make it, okay, I'm taking it again. So I'm just kind of making them disappear as they grow slowly into the unknown. I'm also going to put, um, which I think is a very important detail in this, I'm going to put some little snow on the top because he's been talking about like a lot of snow stuff. So I'm like, okay, well, why not put some little snow on the top? I don't know if he's going to do this. I didn't watch the video yet, but um, I'm going to do it. 
and the fence is kind of making everything blend together for the ground wise i kind of want to make um some little snow piles okay guys so i'm going to finish this video tomorrow because it is currently 905 and i've been doing this for maybe two hours now and i have two hours of footage to edit so um yeah this is my current mess that i have made during this process um so yeah uh this is the painting uh so far i still have to do i think 11 minutes there is of the video so yeah I will see you guys tomorrow because I am super tired. <laughs> 24 hours later. Hey guys, it's the next day and we have to continue this painting. Um, I looked at the Bob Ross thing and it only said there was 11 minutes of it. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I just got my water right now. His little thing um, says that he puts snow over here. But see, my thing's a little different because, well, I don't have a big enough canvas to do all this stuff on it. So I think I'm just going to leave it how it is. And I'm going to um, just fix this part right here. Okay, so I did like this little part and I wanted to put like a little tiny like hill of snow. So that's what I did over here. And now we're going to be doing like this bush tree thingy over here. a little tree right there now we need to put some more snow there you go now we're gonna add some white please Okay, so I kind of just made a little bit of a um, little snow pile right here. And then I need to blend this part out so it goes into the ground like I did with this one. Whoa, okay. <clears throat> just dab this in really quick. Now let's get some more white. And outline this again because it kind of just disappeared. There you go. Yeah, let's take I'll use the old knife here. Okay, I gotta make all these little branches now. I'm gonna have to grab this from you guys and do this on my own because my arm started to hurt. I think sirens goes going on. Is it the first Tuesday of the month? Is that why? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, well, sorry about the signs in the background. What is he gonna do? Tree here. It's got a little bit of color on it still for fall. He said there's a little bit more color left from the fall. That's what we're doing. We're just dabbing on some color. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. It got mixed into the white. No, 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 no. Okay, we just need to get some of the blue off. The blue's not supposed to be there. Okay, we're gonna have to fix that. Oh, fixed. Good. And now we get it. We just need to add some more color to it. That seems good. Okay, now we're gonna do a little posts. I just use straight up black for this and make a little fence post. I guess we can make one like right over here and like make this really, really big. I think, uh, yep, look at there. Big old tree. So I'm going to do that. It might be a horrible mistake, but I kind of want to do it. Now we're gonna use this and what he does is just that we're gonna make these ones on the bottom a little bit more bigger than the ones on the top that seems about right and we'll just put the indication of fuel limbs here and there mm. oh my god i hate that i hate it i hate it let's try getting rid of it uh 
Uh, I'm gonna cut off and quickly finish um, this thing and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is where I'm at so far. Um, <clears throat> I just need to put some highlights on the branches and I think we should be good to go. Now I'm just going to put some snow on the branches. Just lay on a little highlight here and there to create the illusion of a little snow. And I think with that, we about have a finished painting. Until then, happy painting. God bless. That, that's my finished product. And this is the mess. <laughs> okay. There's actually one last step that I have to do to complete this painting finally. So I have to sign the back and I have to Mod Podge it. Okay, let's get rolling. Okay, something that I completely forgot to do was the literal edges. The edges, and I do that to all of my paintings. So I already mod podged it because I couldn't really go back, so I kind of mod podged the entire thing, and then I'm gonna have to do the edges black. So that will be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my Bob Ross tutorial. Make sure you subscribe, like, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss another video. Bye.